Thank you so much for clicking my video and today's video this wig is brought to you by curls curls i'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig in the direct store if i could get a coupon code i'll be sure to link it in the description box as well the specs on this wig is that this wig cap is a lace front wig length 18 inches curl pattern natural curly hair color natural cap size small a wig came in that clear plastic baggie. They also sent some other helpful items that you receive when you get the wig. You get elastic band that you can sew in and attach yourself with some clips and a comb. You get two wig caps in the color brown. And a Curls Curls wig manual. This just comes with some helpful tips for you to care for your wig. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a 13 by 6 lace parting space. You get two combs in the front, not too far from the temple. Another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit material. The lace is supposed to be HD and it is appearing a little bit gray on my skin. So I'm going to try to go in later on and tint that to my skin complexion. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. The hairline comes pre-plucked and the knots come lightly bleached, but off camera, I went ahead and bleached the knots. Later on, I left it to air dry overnight and this is what it's looking like. So I feel like the curls could be defined a little bit more. Do you agree? So I'm going to show you guys how I like to define my curls. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin up the hair and I'm going to do section by section. After I went ahead and pinned up the hair, I'm going to take this 360 spray mist bottle. You can find this bottle off Amazon, Sally's Beauty Supply Store, Cosmoprof. I'll be sure to leave an Amazon link below because you guys are always asking me. So I just filled that up with warm temperature room water from the sink. And I just go ahead and mist the hair all over till it's completely wet. You got to make sure you get every strand. Don't leave no dry strands behind. After that, I go in with this Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion and I just take a few pumps and pump it all over the hair. Then I go in with a paddle brush and comb the product right on, making sure it's getting each spot. You need it to get each curl so it can lock in that moisture after it dries and it just gives this nice soft look. Then after that, I go ahead and repeat the process until I reach the top and I'm all done. After I'm done, this is how it's looking. And if you're a super beginner and you don't know how to cut the extra lace, you just make sure the hair is completely out the way from the hairline and take your scissors or razor and just take your time and cut right along the hairline. Try your best not to cut into the hairline. You don't want to mess up the shape of the hairline and that can cause shedding. Next step I should have done in the beginning before I even started defining the curls, I should have tinted the lace before everything. So right now this is what the lace is looking like. I told you guys I did go in and bleach the knots. And to tint the lace, I'm just spraying the hairline and the parting space. And I'm spraying one layer. After that, I go in with the blow dryer on high and blow dry it until it's completely dry.
Now that I got the lace to match my skin tone, let's do the install. This is going to be a quick, easy install. Doing the install the next following day, and this is what the curls look like dried overnight. It still kept the shape. I love it. Still got that nice, soft, curly look. Because the cap size is a small, I don't have to hook the adjustable straps as close. Off camera, I went ahead and did the ball cap method, but for this one, I'm not going to be gluing the install, so this ball cap method wasn't needed for this, but I'm just showing you guys what it looked like with a stocking cap underneath. Look how good this lace look on my skin with no glue, tape, hairspray, or anything holding it down. It's just laying on my skin looking like scalp. Product I am using now is Erica J Frizz Bully Wax Stick, and I'm just using this to get the flyaways at the top. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355 and lightly applying some of the powder on top of the lace just so the parting could appear more like a scalp. Alright you guys, so I'm just going to say my quick thoughts on this wig. So when I got the wig, it came with no foul odor. Um, I would say the curls was very dry and the knots came lightly bleached, but I feel like I needed it to be bleached more. So I went in and bleached the knots some more off camera. I forgot to take a picture of that to show you guys that I bleached the knots, but I definitely went in and bleached the knots. The knots took a about 45 minutes to process to get it the way I would like and I just use BW2 powder and 3D volume developer when I was detangling the hair when I when it came to the conditioning part I got medium shedding it was medium to low nothing too crazy and then after that, I let the wig air dry the next day. Then I went in and as you guys saw, I used the Nairobi foaming lotion plus water to get these curls the way they are. Loving it. When I was brushing out the curls, this was the amount of shedding I got. And to me, that's not bad because the density on this wig is really full. Like it's really, really full. So I actually kind of expected to get this amount and this curly hair. This is like how much my hair sheds when it's time to be washed. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about this wig. The curls is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I love curl patterns like this when the curls just isn't too perfect. It's just kinky and coily. Ugh, love it. I don't have anything bad to say. The lace is definitely HD. I would definitely say that. And you don't have to go in and glue down the hairline. If you want, after you 
Well, hmm, let me take that back because I did go in and insert a elastic band, so it's making it lay really flat. The only issues I have with this wig is the air tabs. So if I was to wear this, voice over you guys. So I would go in with the Got to Be Goo Freeze Blast Spray or the olive oil hard hold spray to spray down the air tabs with two to three layers just so the air tabs can lay down throughout the whole day because you don't want the wind to blow it's kind of breezy outside now that it's fall you don't want the wind to blow and be showing you know all your business so i'm just showing you guys what the curl pattern looks like i totally recommend this wig. i think it's so pretty these curls is so nice it looks so realistic even the parting space, especially after I apply the powder, whoop, that parting space is popping. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Later.